in Springfield, it's been almost a year since someone vandalized a statue of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. State officials are still trying to decide how to replace it. In September last year, police arrested Fernando Garcia. He's charged with criminal damage to state property. Garcia got out last month after reaching a plea deal. He owes the state nearly $10,500 in restitution, but Garcia got credit for almost $9,700 during his time behind bars. With our historical um, artifacts, and that would be as such, that is also a part of art and culture. So I think the statue should be reminiscent of the work that Martin Luther King did. This year's budget sets aside $500,000 for placing and maintaining Martin Luther King's statue, but it doesn't specify if that's a new statue or the one that was damaged.